That's why the professor at a uh, great black professor at Harvard University. I mean, at Harvard when they. Uh, Skip Gates. Huh? Come, uh, Skip. Skip Gates. Yeah. Skip Gates. Now go back to the night he came back. That happened the night he came back from China. You're aware of that, right? Mm-hmm. Now a neighbor across the street see a Negro carrying boxes into his house. Now, when do, well, at what point do you suspect somebody's robbed and taking stuff in the house and not bringing stuff out? <laughs> hmm? mm-hmm. You know what that was about? What was about? He brought 40-some boxes back with him. That was the CIA and the FBI setting up a situation where they could get him out the house so they could go in and check them boxes out. Hmm? Hmm. What is this Negro bringing back from China, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what that was about, huh? Mm. Now, when I heard him come out and say something negative about, you know, <laughs> Django, I, can, I can't understand it, but at least I know why. He was he at Harvard University, man. He can't let them white folks know he enjoyed that. He, <laughs> mm-hmm. he can't let them white folks know he enjoyed that. Kill mm-hmm. all them white folks with kill. And mm. also, he's the first dude of substance that blew the whistle on uh, Miss Woods. What's the guy who wrote uh, Alex Haley? Mm-hmm. And Alex Haley had him wrote none of that. You know, I was out there doing it because <laughs> I don't care what you think of me. I know mm-hmm. he didn't write it. The senior editor of Playboy magazine, Murray Fisher, wrote all of that stuff, okay? Mm-hmm. And if you punch up on your computer, uh, Harry Colander, who wrote one of the best books from Africa called The African, a mm-hmm. white boy, Kuta Kinta came out of his book word for word. Huh? Oh, wow. And if you take off the trial in upstate New York, where a federal judge made the publisher and Alex Haley pay him $650,000 and then chest time, made him apologize to him in the court, and the judge said, I worked a lot of these cases, but I never saw anybody take something word for word like you have. Hmm? Mm-hmm. And you know what? Like a, yep. I would say, like with Tarantino, they say he said that he, he said that Django was better than Roots, and a lot of people got mad about that. He said Django and Chain was better than Roots. Uh, it was. It was. Okay. It was better than Roots, huh? Well, mm-hmm. at least we know where it comes from. Mm-hmm. When that, when that, when that who, who the Kendra got that book, he couldn't hit that white boy. Hmm? <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. But who cares? So when you doing the truth, do you know how many people got mad at Jesus? Huh? Mm. They killed King. Did he make mm-hmm. did he make you mad? Huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you gonna pick who you gonna be mad at and who you not? Cause you don't understand. I just told you just now. Mm-hmm. And one of the things I think you should do, and we don't have the time now. Listen, you got your computer sitting in front of you. Yes, sir. You got it in front of you. Yes, sir. Then punch up, punch up the the federal courts in upstate New York. Punch up Harry Holanda, who wrote the African. And, and, and the case, it is right there. Okay? Mm-hmm. All that crap he was doing wasn't nothing but lies. Huh? Wasn't mm-hmm. but lies. That somebody else wrote the truth, but he didn't write it. Huh? Mm-hmm. He didn't write it. If I know that Alex Haley didn't write Root and didn't write Malcolm, okay? Mm-hmm. See, the thing you asked him, he said he hated Malcolm. Listen, he wasn't just working. They recruited Mount uh, Alex Haley out of naval intelligence, okay? Right. Now, how I know that, and he don't know it, right? Mm. All right. Now, when 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 he became world-renowned, it was because the articles, while he supposed to have been with Malcolm, he was doing for Playboy magazine. Mm-hmm. Okay? He didn't write none of them articles in Playboy magazine, Okay. That was the the, 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 the editor of Playboy Man, Murray Fisher, right? Mm-hmm. Who wrote that, right? Yes, sir. Now, when the book come out, Murray Fisher wrote the book. All of it, right? Now, let's take a look at it. When the brother said that uh, uh, he plagiarized, right? The, the author. Now, now, listen to this. He wrote... Kunta Kenta, Kunta Kenta, uh, Kenta, Kuta, 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 that came out of the book called The African, you know, Harold Courtlander, right? Yes, sir. He, when he said he sued him, it wasn't a million dollars. He sued him, and they settled out of court for $650,000. And 
and he had to admit, okay, that that he he took the stuff out of the book that he had never done none of that stuff he said in the book and the whole thing, right? Yes, sir. And so now the the, the trial lasted. I think it was two weeks, right? Mm-hmm. Now the great part about this here is this trial took place in federal court, right? Mm-hmm. So that's public. That's public domain. All you gotta do is get up and and you find out the 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 date of the trial took place, the judge's name, do it. During the trial, presided presiding U.S. District Judge Robert J. Ward stated, "Copyright. This is." Period. In mm-hmm. a later interview, he told BBC Television, Judge Ward said Alex Haley perpetrated the biggest hoax in the history of the public, right? Mm-hmm. And he, now this is documented, this is settled court. He, and he told him, he, he told him, go settle this or I'm going to get you for perjury because we have evidence. Told him from his lawyer that you had this book. 18 months before you testified that you ever heard of it, okay? Hmm. Now, when 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 Malcolm came out on page 122, he listed Dick Gregory. Right. In other words, Malcolm spoke to told him, Dick Gregory told me about Elijah Muhammad's women. Well, I lived around the corner from Elijah, so I went around with the book. I said, man, I guess the government's trying to make y'all mad at me so they can kill me and blame it on y'all. Mm-hmm. I said, I love Malcolm. I love you. I've been knowing you. Well, if I know, I would tell you something on Malcolm before I tell Malcolm something on you. Mm-hmm. You know. Now I'm saying now, now, now this is very important. Yes, Did you hear when he said the stuff was being sold, right? Mm-hmm. Now let me tell you something very important. There's been few books at that time that have made as much royalty money. You hear me? Is mm-hmm. Alex Haley? All over the world is making millions of dollars, even now, right? Yes, sir. The roots, the TV, the whole thing, right? Mm-hmm. Now, let's think about it. Let's say you write a book that becomes a runaway bestseller. You're making 50, 60 million dollars a year royalties, okay? Mm. You owe me $10,000, right? Yes, sir. But you're an alcoholic, you're a drunk, you're a drug addict, and you're a gambler, right? Mm. So you broke, right? Now, I'm not going to have my lawyers auction off your possession because every six months you get a new royalty check, right? Mm-hmm. So all I've got to do is go into federal court and attach your royalties and I get the money before you get it. So why did they have to auction because Alex didn't have nothing? Mm. Huh? <laughs> now, how come Malbo didn't put that in the book? I knew it, but he didn't know it. See, all of them perpetrate fraud, but they do it just enough. Okay? Mm. So what his job, see, when they put, when, 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 when they kill Malcolm, all the stuff changed, and nobody didn't realize that that wasn't what Malcolm was telling him, right? Right. So now, all at once now, it didn't kill Malcolm. It made Malcolm big, right? Mm-hmm. Malcolm got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger.